Hi everyone, I'm Henrik, I'm the CEO of Lookback. Today I'm going to give you a demo of how you can not only run your UX research with Lookback, but also bring your whole team along on this journey, that is research. I'm going to do this by showing you different parts of the research process, so setting up your research, running your research, and then navigating and sharing out all of the results. So thank you for being here, and here we go! Number one, setting up your research. So with Lookback, it's really easy to get going. Anyone can just make a project and you know start a bunch of rounds of research and start accumulating highlight reels and things like that and very quickly get to some results. Um, of course, you can do all types of research with Lookback. Uh, you can do interviews, you can do a bunch of unmoderated stuff. But today, let's use a moderated usability test as an example of what you can do. Now with Lookback you'll have a lot of control over the participant's device and you can also localize it in different languages and set rules for Figma prototypes and stuff like that. I won't have time to go through all of that today, uh, but uh, I do want to show you one feature that I know that our users appreciate a lot and that's our discussion guide. So you set up your discussion guide with all the questions that you'd like to ask in the live session and then this will be available to you in the session. This is great just for you to remember to do, you know, to ask all the questions that you want to ask and to you can check them off once you've asked them. It's also great if you have multiple moderators on your project and you want to make sure that every person, uh, you know, interviews the participants in the same way. So, you know, you can set that up and many other things, including instructions and tasks, and then you're pretty much ready to go. But one more thing. Uh, it's super important when you do research that you actually bring your team along on this journey. That is research. Because if we do research in the forest and no one is there to see it, well, have we really done it? No one really knows. Uh, so set up an observer lobby. This is where you can give access to people who are your stakeholders. Sometimes they're part of the organization very tightly. Sometimes they, they're less kind of tightly connected to the organization and you can just invite them as guests. They'll be able to take notes uh, and you know contribute in all sorts of ways. So don't forget about that. Number two, we're going to run some research now. So to get started with your research at Lookback, you use these participate links that are created for every round of research. And this is how it will look when the participant is going through this flow on a desktop. Uh, we will ask them a few uh, informations and they will then be led through this flow where they can turn on their camera and mic. They understand they're going to be recorded, all of that. We're going to help them share their screen. If they need permissions for anything, we're going to guide them through that. So when they arrive actually in the session, they're going to be all ready to go with all the right things shared. Um, and you're going to get a notification as a moderator, uh, or if it's unmoderator, they're just going to jump straight into the session. And you can actually start watching that live as well, even if it's just uh, unmoderated. So, of course, uh, on mobile, this is going to look uh, slightly different, uh, but it's also a very nice flow that we uh, have really designed to be as successful as possible um, to get them through this without uh, any issues so they can join in your session. So, in a moment here, we're going to actually start a live session with this participant, and this is now from the moderator's view. They will get a notification in their dashboard and they can join in to our player. Now what you see here is you see the moderator interface. So the moderator is about to onboard here uh, and on the left hand side they have the participant's device, they have the participant's camera, they have their moderator controls that we will go through in a moment. Uh, and on the right hand side they have their feed. Now the participant can't see the feed. This is for the moderator, any note taker uh, and also for uh, the entire team that's in there. So we want everyone to feel welcome when they're observing uh, the session here. So anyone, uh, even if they're just guests, they can type notes and um, you know they can chat with each other and everything without disturbing the test. As we see on the left-hand side now on the participant's screen, uh, you're able to track exactly where they're pressing, what they're seeing. You can see their uh, face and uh, you can hear their voice, um, of course, uh, during this uh, session. All of this will then later be transcribed into uh, your feed. Now as a moderator you have full control of a lot of things in this session. For example you can push links to your participants device that will immediately open in the right place on their device and they can take it from there. And this is just super powerful for uh, making sure that you don't waste time sending links or trying to explain to participants uh, where they need to go. 
The moderator push link feature is also very powerful if you know you've already sent them a link earlier but it has changed for some reason and it didn't work and you need to quickly adapt or if you didn't want them to see the link before the test started. Of course uh, you can take notes in Lookback, everyone can take notes, you as a moderator can take a note, your observers can uh, take a note. These are all time stamped and will be available to you after the fact and really useful for just navigating uh, the session. Of course, all notes can be turned into highlights and shared into highlight reels. Uh, and you can also do things like um, uh, threaded notes and direct collaboration on those notes. Now, if you've moderated research, you know that it can be quite hard to take notes at the same time. You know, you're under cognitive load, you're building rapport with the participant and you're trying to pay attention. So that's why our Eureka, our AI assistant, has this button that you can press and it will make Eureka take the note for you. So, you know, in a live session, uh, you will just get this verification, but later on then it will then be populated with some uh, really impressive note taking by the AI. Now we've already seen the discussion guide, so let's take a moment to listen in on some great research. Are you a Lord of the Rings fan, Julie? <laughs> <laughs> well, my nephew is, he yeah. loves it, so I thought that would be, well, I actually have to prefer the radio. Ooh, that's kind of a cool computer. Stuff. Okay, great. Right. Tell me about it. What do you like about it? Why, why did you pick that, that set? I'm a big fan of that trendy turquoise color at the moment, and it's very retro. Well, thank you, uh, Shelley and Russ, uh, for that excellent demonstration of what research sounds like in Lookback. Now, before we start uh, moving on to the next phase of the research, I just want to show you something that we call the focus mode. So, of course, uh, even if this feed is made to uh, really be kind of out of the way and not really get in the way of you doing research, sometimes there's a lot of stuff going on in there. You can always filter out everything. And if you don't have time to set the fancy filters, you can just press this focus mode and it will remove everything except what you uh, are writing and if someone pings you with a question. Now we're almost at the end of phase two and uh, we're going to start closing down this live research session. But before we move on to phase three, um, I just want to show you uh, one thing that our customers really love and that is our after party room. So you can access this, it's a video room that you can access through this little button at the bottom of your feed and it will open up a discussion room for you and your observers. It will turn on all the cameras, all the microphones and it will give you um, an immediate chance to just talk about what you just saw and to capture that as well or you know just debrief emotionally after a heavy session perhaps and uh, you know it's a great room for you and your team uh, where you can just send each other uh, love and appreciation and thanking your awesome moderator for a job well done so that's all about happy researching number three you've done your research now let's navigate those findings and share them out to the people who need to see them because after all that's why we're doing research now, there are a couple of ways to navigate your research and look back. Uh, one way is just to go into your project and just look through all of your rounds that you've accumulated in there, including any highlight reels that uh, you will have built up uh, over the course of your research. Once you find what you want to work with, you click into that and it opens the player again. Now, you can see on the right hand side here that when we're reviewing this, we have expanded uh, all of the kind of the feed tabs here. So we have one feed that is for the transcriptions uh, that uh, have been automatically transcribed and we also have these uh, little Eureka headlines. So these are AI generated by the assistant Eureka and they're summaries of the transcript. Now you can of course collapse this whenever you want uh, or expand it as needed for the review you're doing. Now Personally, as a stakeholder of research, I like to start in the headlines and just scan through all of the research that has uh, been done, especially if you missed the live session, you know, you just want to get an overview. And this is a very quick way to consume a lot of research. So sometimes, you know, my researchers will send me hours and hours of interviews and I can just go through these little highlights and kind of find the moments that I'm interested in uh, reviewing it more closely. So it's, it, this is a huge improvement over just trying to scan uh, the transcripts. And once you've found what you're uh, looking for, uh, there are a couple of things that you can do there. Now, number one, perhaps you're finding, you can either click into a timestamp and get to that moment, 
Or perhaps you're finding something that is a really good part uh, participant quote. You can just turn that into a note. Um, and once you've turned it into a note, you can turn it into a highlight. And this can either just be a shared object or you can put it in a highlight reel uh, or you can start threaded notes immediately in the player. Of course, this depends a little bit on what you found. And Lookback is really built to kind of capture all of it. You know, so of course, you're always going to be looking for some things. Your research project is going to be focused on something in particular. Those things, if you have findings related to those goals, then they're definitely going to go into your report, right? But sometimes you just stumble upon things, right? So perhaps it's not, it's not even happening in the part of the product that you were researching, but you just stumbled, you got a bug repo, or you discovered something else. And then you can just ping in some people on that and start socializing it right away. Uh, so not all the research goes in a report, but with look back, you get to capture it anyway. And you got that constant stream of engagement from stakeholders all over the organization. So that's uh, really good. You can copy it out, you can download it, you can do all of these things to make sure that uh, the right people get to the right types of insights. Now, sometimes when you're reviewing your research, you will find things in there that really uh, should be kept. Like, for example, if someone shared their password or something. So you can redact content uh, with a very high level of control on different streams if you don't want it in there. And then it will be permanently gone. Um, for things that you don't, you don't want to keep in your feed, but you don't want to delete it forever, we have very sophisticated filters. Um, so, you know, look, look back is really meant to be welcoming for everyone, uh, but sometimes people don't contribute. So no need to control who gets access, no need to control or delete their stuff, just filter it out. Um, and you can actually filter out not only on people, but also on different types of events. So let's say you just want to export the transcripts or something like that, then you can set these filters, clean up your feed and then apply those filters to your exports. The second way to navigate your research findings is to use our search function. So all of your research is in here and it's timestamped and linkable and all of that stuff. So you just uh, search for whatever you want. As you saw, it was pretty quick. Uh, you can you know, navigate these uh, and copy the link and send it out, or you can use filters to narrow down your search. You know, perhaps I just want to look at something that my research team captured in a note or you know, put in a highlight. I can, of course, also search only on transcriptions, for example, if I'm interested in what the participant has said. I find something like this. Now, as I said, it can be shared just to any tool or you can view it directly in the player and then you will land in the context of uh, the thing you were searching for. You can start kind of familiarizing yourself with the context and you can see, hmm, what did I learn here? Perhaps you find something new. You can just still type as many notes as you want here. So new thing I found, it goes up there. I can turn that into a highlight very quickly by pressing the little sun and then I can start threaded notes on this or I can send it to my dashboard to put it in a highlight reel. Now, of course, um, I can move, you know, edit these and send them to the, as many as I want to the dashboard. And once I've done that, I can then move them into highlight reels. So I just go and I've created this highlight reel about bugs. I go to my highlight, I mark it as many as I want, and I move it to my reel that I created. Now once they're in the reel, they can be played, they can be shared, they can be downloaded and all of that. Okay, we're done. Thank you so much for watching this and I hope that this was helpful. Of course, there's much more to show and many details that can be discussed. If you want to try the product out for yourself, you can go to lookback.com, sign up for a free trial, or you can uh, book a demo with me and my team and we demo to anyone. You don't need to be a big uh, enterprise or anything like that. We love talking research uh, with current and potential users. So, you know, don't be a stranger. Happy researching.